This is really hard work. Even though it's the end of summer, the ground up on this moorland is still pretty soggy. My surroundings might look pretty anonymous, but the spot where I'm standing now is actually the source for the mighty River Severn, the longest river in Britain. Almost 80% of UK rivers start in soggy moorland like this. These are the Plinlimmon Hills in mid Wales, 740 metres above sea level. A wild, desolate area which is largely uninhabited. The west coast is just 20 kilometres away, so this part of the country gets the full force of depressions coming in from the Atlantic. It receives over 2,500 millimetres of rainfall every year, making it one of the wettest parts of Britain. The ground acts like a huge sponge hanging onto a large amount of the rain. The excess runs off. Trickles become rivulets, which then form a stream. Here it is, the River Severn. It doesn't look like much now, but it's only just got started. Fed by dozens of rivulets, the stream swiftly grows in size and power, cutting down through the landscape to form a V-shaped valley. And it's getting bigger all the time. It's also fast flowing, which means it has a high carrying capacity, the ability to carry material that's been stripped from the land. After the waterfall, the Severn's gradient soon flattens out and it starts winding its way through agricultural land. In flat areas, rivers wander about, forming loops of all shapes and sizes on the valley floor. These are known as meanders. After Shrewsbury, the river drops through the Ironbridge Gorge and swings south. By now, the Severn is flowing at over 60,000 litres of water a second, and although the river's mouth is still over 100 kilometres away, it's only 30 metres above sea level. Surrounded by flat land, floods are a significant threat. South of Gloucester, the risk of flooding decreases rapidly because the river starts to widen and it quickly develops into an estuary. the biggest estuaries in the UK. At this point, it's already two kilometres wide, and south of the narrow point where they built the bridge, it's even wider still. The river here is tidal and has the second largest tidal range in the world. The difference between the high water mark and the low water mark can be as much as 15 metres. And when the tide is out, huge expanses of mudflats are revealed. By the time it reaches its mouth, the Severn is 13 kilometres wide. The river looks like the sea. Having started as a trickle in the Plinlimmon Hills, it has run 350 kilometres. And by the time it reaches the sea, it carries over 9 billion litres a day. Quite a transformation. <laughs> <laughs> 